Well, this is Hannibal from I'll Write It. We've noticed recently a lot of misleading information coming out from the propaganda engines in the left, like Snopes, that claim that there's absolutely no association with FYF 9-11 and Black Lives Matter, as you can see in that screenshot right there, which is nothing short of a flat-out lie. So we're going to prove once and for all that the rumor has it that Snopes is full of also, DeRay McKeeson must have got his friends in the liberal media at the Vox to come after us with an article that's nothing short of slander, defamation of character, and character assassination. So, we're going to show you how you do that, Vox, but in this, we're going to use pure evidence, unlike what you had in your shoddy excuse of poor journalism. Let us begin. First, we're going to look at these two tweets by Mr. McKeeson about Eric Shepard. You can see in this tweet right here, he clearly says, I stand with Eric Shepard, does he not? You know, I consider myself a pretty nice guy, so maybe when I'm done with the Vox in court, maybe I might buy Dara Lind a new pair of glasses, because apparently she needs them. Eric Shepard was the guy that started the Eric Shepard challenge, and this tweet from DeRay could have been what set that off, but he clearly says that he stands behind Eric Shepard. Eric Shepard is a fugitive that is currently serving jail time for terroristic threats online and also carrying a, a concealed weapon that wasn't registered apparently to a college campus. But this is the kind of guy that DeRay stands behind in his own words. Uh, furthermore, let's look at this letter that Eric Shepard him himself sent to Valdosta University. We can clearly see from this letter that DeRay stands behind someone that wants to murder white babies homosexuals, and even elderly people, and kill all the white people. I mean, he said it with his own words. I didn't. I'm not sure what the race problem is with white people, but clearly if you stand behind that, you must hate the entire white race. I mean, it's obvious, right? So then we have this gem here. Here we have Mr. McKeeson talking about this Charleston Eric Shepard uh, protest that they had. But, you know, he has no association to that. And uh, here he is. Uh, look at this comment. And this flag burns Charleston. And, uh, you know, that's what uh, he's promoting here. And here's the photographer that took these pictures. And this guy made a major mistake. You see, every time you upload a picture, you take a picture from a camera, it has something in it called exit data. That's going to tell us exactly when that picture was taken. That also tells us it is impossible for McKeesa to lie out of this one and say you have nothing to do with it. You know, Black Lives Matter sure don't have anything to do with flag burning, but here's someone with a shirt on doing it. And then you come over to here. That does look like McKeeson right there, doesn't it? So let's look at the EXIF data and upload these pictures. And here's one. Here's the first one. So when was this picture taken? Yeah, this picture was taken June 21st, 2015 at 7.06 p.m., okay? So let's look at the second picture. When was this picture of Mr. McKeeson taken at the same place. Oh, 13 minutes later. So I guess that eliminates the ability to say that he wasn't involved with that, right? Right. And then we have this magnificent gem right here. This is Sunshine. You know, the woman that was one of the first starters of FIF 9-11. You know, the woman that was responsible for getting in death threats against veterans' families. What's uh, McKeeson doing? posting pictures of her. And the liberals keep saying no audio proof exists that this threat ever happened. So here it is. Here's the live radio show where Sunshine releases this guy's information for the intent of harassment. It's kind of magical that he got called on the phone a couple hours later and threatened, isn't it? The first name is Nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Last name... His phone number is a Long Island number, 631 You think that's bad? Wait until you see what Sunshine has to say about African Americans that have white friends and work 40 hours a week. This is the good part. Black lives obviously don't matter to DeRay if he follows people like that. I think a lot of black people are going to be dead in the ground. If I got something to do with it, all, all them f***ing Uncle Ruckus ass coons, I'm gonna, it's going to be my job to kill all of them. Got the same kind of mindset that's going to go in there and sit around them motherfuckers and smile and lick boots. Coons, I can never go and be on no mother 
regular ass nine to five in no office job because I don't feel comfortable being safe to be around motherfucking white folks and boot licking coons. How are you going to tell me that Black Lives Matter if you post pictures and quote people and support people that say they're going to kill any black person that has white friends or works a nine to five jobs? I mean, do Black Lives Matter, you, DeRay? Not looking like they do from our side here. Then you have this gem right here at Snopes saying, you know, in fact, a video uploaded in September 4th, King Noble said explicitly that Black Lives Matter wasn't involved with FYF 9-11. Because apparently that's what liberals do. They take the word over someone that advocates the molestation of children and the rape of African American women over the clear evidence posted on his own website and all these pictures that show you the FYF 9-11 and Black Lives Matter movement hashtags being posted together. Oh, and by the way, here's DeRay with Louis Farrakhan. So that now means, according to this video here, which is taken from local media, the DeRay is associated with both people that are being investigated by the FBI for terroristic threats against cops, right? Ask the FBI to investigate. That stirs the pot. The Houston Police Officers Union has asked federal agents to investigate two videos posted on the internet. One by a man calling himself King Noble, declaring open season on killing police. The second from a speech by Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan, made at a Miami church July 30th, urging 10,000 fearless men to, quote, rise up and kill those who kill us. So not only have I proved beyond a doubt that Black Lives Matter is indeed associated with FYF 9-11, but I've also shown you that DeRay is associated with the only two people in the country right now that are being investigated by the FBI for terroristic threats against cops. So I'd like to give you liberals some advice out there because you like to slander people like me that tell it how it is and tell the truth. You don't like that. I want you to think about something in between the six times a day you hug a tree, in between yoga practice, and a six o'clock Candy Crush Saga convention. What I think you should do, people like Dar Lind, is I think you should take about a hundred thousand of you guys and go over to the Middle East and start mingling with ISIS. Because if you're as good at destroying them as you are at destroying America, we will not have a problem with ISIS within a year. And that's a fact.